Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott, and we're out here at the Kalispell, Montana, at the ranch. And I just wanted to try, I have this new cord. It's a short cord with a 90 degree angle on it. And it looks like I'm able to balance the phone pretty good, um, considering that the power cord is on the same side as the counterweight. So let me share this to a couple of groups to see if this... Hold on one second. You guys probably see my face. Okay. Yeah. It's on me. But I'm just going to go walk around and try it out and then I got to cook my dinner. Hey, Christine Allen. Hey, there's like four of you guys on here. Yep, it's 835. We're in our uh, barn in the ranch in uh, Kalispell, Montana. I got a little short like it says it's a total of 12 inch uh power cord that goes from the side of the you know from the back of the phone hey what's up just trying out this new thing getting it ready for tomorrow's revival um i have a smooth q stabilizer for my smartphone and now i have this uh, cord connected to it is a 90 degree angle cord which allows me to slide the phone in um and still be able to balance the phone so that i can use it in um, landscape mode which is my favorite um, so you guys can see more uh, at the revival tomorrow instead of going like this for Instagram you have to go on portrait mode Les Davidson yes and then I like to go landscape mode so you guys can see more of the landscape amen so anyway I'm gonna try this for a few minutes just kind of I'm gonna walk around we'll go outside um, take you guys with me then I'll put the phone down. I got to heat up some uh, uh, beans and sticky toes I made at the office. If you don't know what that is, that's beans and uh, cut up uh, hot dogs, uh, ballpark franks actually. It turned out really, really good. So I'm trying this, this little cord. It barely reaches down to the bottom. Looks like there's enough play. I won't be able to have as much functionality and mobility as I would if there was no cord attached to it, a charging cord. But this um, Smooth Q uh, stabilizer, oh, I miss you guys and continue to pray for my son and myself. Yes, let's pray right now. Lord Jesus, we lift up uh, Christine Allen. You know the situation with her and her son, Lord, and we just thank you that uh, that we all met and then we do miss them too, Lord. Uh, Please impress upon her heart to go over there to the ministry, uh, two thirty on Sundays. Their team is still there, so she can get encouraged and get more prayer in person. But we lift up this situation to you. Bless them, give them your peace, and draw them closer to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. And if any of you guys have prayer requests, just go ahead and shoot them at the bottom if they're not too sensitive in nature, or just you know tell me the general gist of it, and I'll pray for you. All right. So let me get a drink of water, and then we're going to go around the. Uh oh, no water. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Hey, so if you guys have any prayer requests, go ahead and just uh, leave them there. Give me your thumbs up, the hearts or whatever, or just message us your prayer request, or you can call at one eight five five seventy jesus So I'm testing the um, 90 degree angle short cord. It's about 12 inches total from uh, tip to tip, and it actually plugs into the smooth Q image stabilizer. It's a gimbal. It's a three axis gimbal that enables me to uh, shoot video for you guys and live footage and keep it really smooth. So I am trying a test to see if this thing will handle because what I've seen in the past is when it's not balanced right or the weight is off that um, the back motor, one of the gimbals in the back, it starts to get hot and then eventually the phone just drops. So that's usually around the 12 minute mark. So I don't see a timer here. Set a timer for 10 minutes. I didn't catch that. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. All right, so Siri's gonna remind me in 10 minutes so I know um, about, because I've probably been talking for a couple minutes. Hey, Pastor Scott, God bless you. 
God bless you too. And Bubba, if you want to watch me go around the block live, you can log on live. All right, sweetie? I'm going to go right now. So anyway, we're trying this out. So it's charging my phone at the same time. The reason I need this to happen is for quick little videos, there's no problem. I don't need to worry about having this thing plugged in and I can have the full um, freedom to use the gimbal as it's, in, as it's supposed to. But for the live um, revival Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, those are an hour and a half to two hours in length. I need something that's going to make it. So I'm not going to put it to the test for that right now. Hi, Mama. Thanks for the thumbs up. But I am testing to see if it will charge at the same time. And this is on a handheld tripod that I can pick up tomorrow night at the Revival. So we're going to try it, practice it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in anticipation for the final night of Revivals up here in Montana, which is going to be a potluck. Uh, we'll either eat before or after or both or whatever. And it's also going to be a potluck of speakers as well. Buck is going to give us a word. The topic is going to be revival. So I'm just praying that the Lord's going to speak to each and every person that should say something, uh, something a little bit different and uh, in the same Holy Spirit vein. But we're going to talk about revival. I already talked to Buck and he says he's going to start with revival, starts with repentance. Amen. <laughs> That's a great way to start it. Then I'll give 15 minutes. Buck will have 15. I'll have 15. Pastor Bob from Restart Church will have 15 minutes. And then Pastor Sam will have 15 minutes, and then I'll close it up with an altar call and whatnot. We'll see what the Holy Ghost wants to do that last night, and we'll just stay in worship. But I want to see if this thing will, in fact, be self-contained with a, a plug, cord, uh, charging itself, all in one self-contained unit that can record great video for you guys. I'm hoping and praying that this is the fix here. So thank you for being patient with all the tests that I've been doing over these past few days. I hope that you've been having fun anyway. So let me just turn this around and uh, then I'm going to walk around. It's going to be dark outside or getting dark. It is now 842. So let me just turn this around. Diana, oops, she's not going to be happy. I got, she's got sheets hanging up there. So, oh, well, sorry, honey. So let's go outside and see what we can get into. See how well this thing works in the evening as well. We got these motion sensor lights out here that come on because we are out in the country <laughs> and it's dark and we have to go over here to go to the bathroom. And here's the rest of the barn. It gets pretty dark in here and we don't like to leave the lights on in the evening. So anyway, I'm going to just take you around. Looks like we got a beautiful sunset there. So I am trying this unit together, self-contained, and I have the tripod connected to it right now, and they're bent up like I showed you on a video earlier. So I can actually set it down, like I can set it down right here <laughs> and turn the camera up and come over here. <laughs> it's on a tripod, so we will go live. I have a table, I have a table set up. Hey guys, I have a table set up at the tent and a couple of chairs for me and the videographer and we'll just set this on there, hit go and granted that all this works and this thing doesn't seem like it's getting hot. Seems like everything is good. I don't have as much uh, mobility with a cord attached to this as far as spinning it around but as long as I just, as long as I go with it, it seems to be fine. So let me flip this around so you guys can see what it looks like here at about dusk, just a little bit after. And I'm trying to burn up at least five more minutes of footage. Figured I'd take you guys with me. And it seems as if you're very happy. There's uh, quite a few of you on here. So we're in Kalispell, Montana. Look at that over there. The sun has already went down, but it's still beautiful. Yeah, seems okay, Mom. Yeah, I don't have as much mobility um, as far as to turning the camera around on its own and panning and such because there is a cord attached to it. I'm hoping to see you guys tomorrow night. Yes, please come. Amy, if you can't make it tomorrow night, then you have Friday or you have Saturday as well. Amen. So I'm gonna take you out here just a little bit further. Isn't it beautiful? 
And this is, it's a little darker outside than it seems to be on the camera. But if you can't make it tomorrow, yeah, it is absolutely beautiful, uh, Christine. Just gorgeous. We just love it out here. So, Amy, if you can't make it tomorrow night to the Revival, you have Saturday and Sunday as well. And especially Sunday because that's the potluck. So bring your favorite dish um, and we'll set up some tables so you guys can um, set your food up. And then after the Revival... And possibly before, if you guys get there early enough, we'll have some food. Um, and we'll close it up and take it down on Monday. But yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, Joe. Hey, everybody that's logging on. Just trying out this new 90-degree cord I got from Amazon with the remaining of my credits. So this will be a complete set. I already had the uh, tripod. It's like a bendy type of gorilla. It's called UBZ tripod. And uh, that's pretty cool. And I actually have the tripod on right now. It's, it's with me. I mean, I can close it up and hold it with the tripod and go way high if I need to. <laughs> and then open up the legs. That's all you guys can't see it. But it is plugged in to the image stabilizer handle itself. There is a USB port. So the phone is charging itself right now. So for any of you videographers or vbloggers, you will know how important this is. Look at that truck. How cool is that? Because doing video just eats up the batteries straight up. And then I was concerned with the 90 degree angle and the weight of the phone if this thing would still work after some time. And so far, so good. So I have two minutes and 30 seconds to make it past the point where the motor usually gives out if something's not right with the weight and the stabilization of it. This is a three axis smooth Q gimbal by Z Ziyun, if I'm not mistaken. And we stay here at the ranch in the barn, <laughs> which we made into a nice little room. Isn't that nice? Look at those hay bales. They did their job. They got to finish their job and pick them up. And this is Big Sky, Montana. Look at that big sky. Isn't that nice? So I'm just trying, and those mountains are absolutely wonderful. And the barn, even Jesus is Lord right there. Hi, honey. I got one minute and 30 seconds left. And so far, so good. Looks like this might work for the revivals tomorrow night. So we'll be in landscape mode. We'll see if it makes it. I can't go left and right too much. Oh, Diana loves it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and give your thumbs up. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that sky. And let me go down here. Look at that. Look at that. Let me switch hands here. And let's zoom in on that, see what you guys can see. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day after day they uttereth speech, and night after night. Isn't that beautiful? So this seems to be working pretty good. I think we got it fixed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amazon for getting this stuff to us in a timely manner so that we can have it for tomorrow night's revival. And you guys are going to have the best experience at one of our revivals yet because you will have nice, stable footage. Nice, stable footage. And handheld footage because from time to time when I'm not preaching, and I will show my wife how to do it as well, 
from time to time you will guys will have like an action mode where we'll just go right up on Pastor Bob or Pastor Sam as they're preaching, pick this thing up and just go for it. Amen. So my watch is a blinking. So that means it's time for me to go and we made it past the 12 to 15 minute mark where the stabilizer usually fails. If something's not right, I'm touching the back here and it seems as if all the stabilizers are all doing good we're plugged in we're charging as we're viewing so my battery life should not go down so let me flip this around let me just do one more panoramic here's the ranch Kalispell Montana and for those naysayers or haters of God we're in Florida somewhere <laughs> just kidding Anyway, let me flip this around and see how this looks on the back camera. Well, the, the, this way looks a little bit better, but it's getting dark as you guys can see. Amen. So that is really cool. I am a happy camper now. Looks like I have everything taken care of ready for the revivals even a tripod here I can go way out there's a bat just flew by a bat yeah I just said it a bat <laughs> so this is awesome anyway let me flip this around so you guys can see I think the the other camera works nice panoramic view yeah It sure is. Let me just, you like the panoramic? Let me just go again. I'm trying to hold it steady as we go. Amen. So yeah, here we go. Seems to work just fine. So I'm really stoked. And there's a kitty right here. Let me see if you guys can zoom in on the kitty. Little kitty. Meow. Meow. Little lights in the trees. Those are cool. I like those. So, yep, I'm absolutely famished i mean yeah it would be cool if i didn't have to have the phone out of the case when i do this but for you guys it's worth it and i believe i have insurance on the thing anyway so anyway yeah looks like the, oh diana turned the light on in the barn <laughs> so literally we stay in the barn and we made a nice little room in here so I gotta get dinner made. In there, I'll just open this up. I don't know if Diana's decent or not, so. Yeah, that's where we stay, in the side here. I do my Bible reading and whatnot, right there. I got my prophecy Bible. I gotta get my New Testament chapter here pretty soon. Oh, let me get my Bible from the car, hold on. Let me just put this out here, you guys can see right here, whoops. Let's go this way. There you go. Well, I grab my my reading Bible. This is my daily driver. Bam. King James, Cambridge, personal size, easy for reading. Amen. Let's flip this around, or let's go back this way. Turn off my timer on my watch. Amen. Alrighty. Is Pastor Scott checking out? Looks like we're in business. No overheating. I got some mobility here. I won't need too much to be live from the tent tomorrow night. I just needed to see if this would do, if it would work in panoramic mode with the charger connected to the 
to the stabilizer and then we'll check the battery. That was probably about 15, 20 minutes of footage. I'll check when I stop and I get a little bit of hiccup there. And now I gotta cook dinner, heat it up. I actually cooked it earlier. So love you guys, God bless you. Pastor Scott checking out. If you need anything at all, call us at 1-855-70-JESUS. God bless and good night.